everybody, welcome back to another Manga Haul edition of A Week in Geekdom. Today, we're going to take a look at all the cool stuff I got in the month of March. Not a big haul, but a good one. Let's start with Volume 8 of Happiness from Shuzo Oshimi. Now, I can't really show you what's inside because that would be spoilers. It's near the end of the series, and I don't want to ruin it for you. But just know that it's great. The art is fantastic. One of the best works from Oshimi, in my honest opinion. A really cool, uh, wonderful vampire series that I cannot recommend enough. Next up is The Seven Deadly Sins Omnibus Volume 2. Looking really nice. I like the art and the character designs on this series. Unfortunately, uh, this book, this edition, uh, it feels a little bit rougher or tighter in its binding compared to Volume 1, but I think that's just my copy. And honestly, that's just me nitpicking. It feels great and uh, the overall presentation is awesome. And I can't wait to continue getting the series in this format. Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 5. I'm not up to date reading these deluxe editions. This is the first time I'm checking out Blade of the Immortal, but I promise you that as soon as I can, I'll make a video. But then again, this is Volume 5. We still have five more to go. I don't like making incomplete reviews on things, so it's gonna be a while. But I couldn't make sort of a reading vlog, I guess, and tell you guys all the stuff that I've been reading and what my thoughts are and all that stuff. Sort of my incomplete essay, if you will. Next up is Battle Angel Alita Volume 5 of the smaller editions from Kodansha. I'm flipping through these pages and I apologize if I'm spoiling anything, but I have no idea what I'm looking at because I'm not up to date with it. But still looking really nice. One book of Way from completing the set of the original series in this smaller yet more affordable edition. Frieren Volume 3, continuing this wonderful, magical slice of life series. I highly recommend it. I made a video on Volume 1 if you want to check it out. Really cool. And I guess I, 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 aside from the really nice art, I just like Frieren and I like Elven Girls. Is that wrong of me to admit on YouTube? Maison Ikoku Volume 7. Takahashi's people do not like YouTubers showing off their books, so you only get the cover, the spine, and the back cover. That's it. Beastars Volume 17, one of my favorite manga. Yes, it concluded in Japan a while ago, but uh, I'm, I'm still reading it. It's awesome. Here's Volume 17. Art looks great. I can't wait to see how it all wraps up. I had to do it. I got Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die. I didn't know if I was going to get it because I have no room for it because it's going to be a long series. I think it's going to be 20 some volumes, 23 total. Uh, but I had to. I love this series so much. I like the original show. I love the reboot. Die is one of my favorite protagonists. So I, I whatever, I got it. <laughs> The art looks great on this. I love the overall presentation. It being oversized is a genuine treat. I love seeing the colored pages here. It really pops. And the overall art, you might think it looks simplistic, but there's more to it that meets the eye. There's a complexity there that I highly recommend you check out when you read Dragon Quest Adventures of Die. Rent a Girlfriend Volume 11. Now, I'm conflicted because a lot of people will say, oh, this is probably one of your guilty pleasures when it comes to manga reading. I don't like that word because if I like it why would I feel guilty about it I'm a big fan of rent a girlfriend yes I know it's not the best rom-com of them all but I like the characters and I like the setting I think it's a fun a wacky series that I can just uh, disconnect my brain and, out of the real world and, and just enjoy this series and all the shenanigans that occur Fist of the North Star Volume 4. Wonderful presentation with the hardcover. The art looks amazing. This is the first time that I'm reading Fist of the North Star. I only know the series or franchise because of the anime. I never read the manga before, but this looks awesome. I like the colored pages and uh, just the intensity of it all and the detail. Really cool macho stuff. <laughs> Uh, next up is Berserk Volume 10 Deluxe Edition, containing, I believe, Volume 28, 29, and 30. I mean, everybody's already talked about Berserk enough. I'm upgrading. I used to have the smaller editions. The art is great. I've read all of this before. It's, it's pretty masterful, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, the posters look really cool. I don't think I'll ever take them out, but they look nice as well. Berserk, great. Go check it out. 
And that's about it, gang. That's the haul for the month of March. I'm a little bit late posting this video, but I had some other stuff happening. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of this channel. I truly do appreciate it. It really does help when you like, comment, and you hit the little bell icon. It lets me know that you're watching and you want more, and I truly do appreciate it. If you want me to review a specific manga shown here, let me know in the comment section down below. That's it. That's all I got. Stay safe, everybody. God bless. I will catch all of you on our next video.